Good morning, everybody. This is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. Okay, so I have finally... I, I haven't quite... Other than the video that I made yesterday... Um, about what I feel is taking place energetically within us um, with our upgrades. I can't, I, can, I still can't find the proper words other than we are incorporating that onk, the cross, with that kind of like globe until today, kind of. I, I hope this makes that connection. Now remember that when we are upgrading we are opening and creating balance within our chakra system. When we have done what is necessary for one chakra, we move on to the next. And in between all of this, or during all of this, we are also upgrading our DNA. When we get to a certain level, we tap into DNA that awakens us to something that we can't even imagine. Now, I mentioned in my other video yesterday as well about um, a type of DNA or the upgrade in DNA and how I cannot find any information about this. You have probably heard that some people have a 12-strand DNA and some people um, speak about a 24 strand DNA. Um, what I was given was 17 strand. Now, I don't know if this is on top of what's already activated or complete. I don't know yet. Um, that's what I'm still working on. But regardless, it's 17 and we're upgrading to parts of us that have been laying dormant. Um, and so yesterday, or this morning, upon waking up, I now know what is actually taking place, um, kind of internally a little bit. And it still makes that onk, um, that cross and crown type of figure, but it also still works with the infinity sign. Um, we are connecting our grounding center, our heart center, our crown center, and the other chakras that are needed in between to link up with still, of course, our light body um, and higher states of consciousness and um, all that is. In one of my videos a while back, I spoke about, um, it's probably under unknown chakras, something like that. It was the very first time that I spoke about this chakra center that I'm about to speak of, and is the Alta Major. Yesterday was the very first time, I think, if I can recall correctly, that I've heard my Alta Major being activated. Um, you, I hope you are in tune with the sensations internally. Like, yeah, I can feel the, the flow of energy in my chakra systems. I know where one's being activated internally. I know by clicking sounds as well. Clicking sounds means you're coming online. Now, we can hear it clicking sounds beginning in our ears when we are very when we are um, first awakening. It's also a communication internal dialogue that you probably don't understand um, which more, more, most of the time I don't know but we're receiving some sort of information we're linking up with source with our soul family with some sort of connection and tapping into it which is helping us upgrade. Now, 
so I heard it being activated yesterday for the very first time. And I was told today because of there is a lot that goes into everything. I can't express that enough. When the rise of the energy comes within, we we receive the Holy Spirit, the life force energy, the Kundalini, whatever you resonate with. And the process, you know, some people talk about a process of three days, of uh, a couple of weeks, but you know, leave that open. The process is going to take as long or as short as it's supposed to for your life. And in between, where, wherever you are supposed to be on your journey for your purpose, that determines how long it's going to be. Because you can go through the process of act, opening and activating certain chakras and then skip certain ones. Because there are thousands of chakras that from what I have done research on that can be activated to connect you to more. Just like there's more love, there's more of us that is quite possible. Um, but go check out my other video that talks about at least nine of those chakras that you don't know about that are essential to going as far as you want to go. And the Alta Major is one of them. That is considered to be the mouth of God. And now this kind of makes sense for me. When my mommy used to always tell me, guard your neck, protect your neck, Christy. And I always thought, as I began to wake up, that she was talking about the throat chakra. Because I have never had a true voice. And that made sense for me. And it still does resonate with me. But even still, when we have our, like now, I have my confidence. I am beginning to know who I am. I'm beginning to fill my shoes. And I'm beginning to receive the Spirit. But the Spirit's voice and your voice are two separate things. When you receive the Spirit voice of communication, you have opened the Yalta Major, the mouth of God. And you have done so because you have connected and done the process and the, the life force energy has um, the Holy Spirit has gone to the places to activate dormant cells, dormant DNA and ignited a light within. So the, the, um, the brain has to be stimulated and activated. The um, cere cerebrum, the medulla oblongata, the penal gland, the pituitary gland, we um, activate the rainbow bridge, we connect the golden diamond um, chakra, we connect and, and build that, that um, infinity sign that connects the crown, the alta major, the thymus gland to your grounding center. And brings you this different type of balance now. Um, and I don't know if it's actually... I don't know if it's called the Infinity Breath. Um, when it makes this... Um, infinity sign but the the Alta major or you can call it the medulla oblongata center that's where it's at anyway um, or the mouth of God is considered to be your major ascension chakra if you are going to upgrade or go to higher levels of your your process this is a major point um, and this is the, the center for complete receiving. You know, we've been taught that the crown is opening to light or universal consciousness or to God. Um, 
it's necessary to have your crown open and activated, but it's the connection of the Alta Major. Um, so I wanted to give you this type of information and um, um, this also, and like I said, I said the, th the thymus, um, the upper heart thalamus, th thymus gland. Yeah, what did I say? Um, the thymus gland, yes. Um, but that is where the threefold flame heart resides. And I spoke about that, I think, two or three months ago um, when we were upgrading in the threefold flamed heart. All of this now is playing out. So remember, like I said, when we, were, when we are in and reside within a certain level, we are still embedding the previous and tapping into a higher level level and it never stops the more that we go higher we are below and above the more we go higher we are current below and above tapping in and we will always come back to a center that needs to be opened more or rewired to make that complete link so, for instance, we can, a couple of months ago, we tapped into the, the um, pituitary. Then we tapped into the pineal gland. We made that Ark of the Covenant there. Um, and then we go back down to our, our thymus gland. We go back up into our crown. You know, there's a certain flow that takes place. And it, that's why it always feels like we are progressing and then maybe going back down because we have to go back down to relearn a lesson and kind of like see if we can it's like testing the waters kind of we're testing the waters a little bit more is this something that we are capable of doing every chakra every activation has a, a, a level of lessons, a level of understandings, um, and every one, when we open it, we'll go back to the other one that's linked to it, and it never stops until it's completely, um, create, until it creates that invisible silver cord, making that connection making that non, um, that ever flowing energy through that center. And this might be what the number eight is for myself. I expressed that a while back, um, I think during the Lionsgate, um, that I have had an obsession for about, could be, 10 could be 15 years of where I've had to count to number eight. Um, when I see a square or a rectangle, anything that has corners, I count to eight. Um, but also when I'm outside, and I used to always think that it was a nervous tick, I would just begin to count to eight, count to eight. And from time to time, even after the lion's gate, um, which I just assumed I was integrating energies associated with the lion's gate and my higher self, my purpose. And then it stopped for a while and I've recently began counting again to eight. So this could be what that connection is for myself. Um, everything that we have done in our life, whether good or bad, uh, major significant things, um, could be ir irritable things, could be great things, tie into our spirit, our purpose, who we truly are to God um, without us really understanding it. And it's amazing to me to be able to find out this type of stuff. Uh, 
my deep-seated connection with Egypt. I, I am getting the connection more and more so every time I learn more about who I am. Now, last night I tipped, I, I uh, tapped into more in, intuition. Um, I am hearing more internal dialogue from other beings. And so I know I am upgrading. Now, if you're experiencing that in either your dream state or your slumber yet conscious awareness states, and you are a little afraid or uneasy about it, that's something that you're going to have to work through. And that, if you have a, a negative um, emotion about it, that definitely tells you you're not ready to receive that type of, of uh, gift yet. Which means that you have to go through those levels of your chakra system until you have that type of confidence. And that's why, again, when we are tapping into certain energies that come along, it seems we're going right back down to a previous level or a previous experience or when is this cycle ever going to end and when am I going to upgrade? You can't upgrade until you remove a negative emotion that is attached to higher chakras, higher level of um, consciousness. And... Um, Therefore, you can't receive your higher self and your purpose because the lessons haven't been learned. You haven't shed those negative emotions that are preventing you from having what is rightly yours. Now, you'll also get to a point where you need to be emotionless. No good, no bad. I am almost there. I am not 100%. I know I have tons of work to do still. I'm at that point where I can see, observe, know, receive, and I'm almost to the point where I don't get excited about the good stuff. You know, we're, if, when we cannot get too excited about what we're receiving, it means that we have really created a peace and a balance within where now we cannot absorb negativity. And that's the purpose, really, of why we're doing this not absorb any longer to not be the problem any longer um so i hope this helps i was going to read a whole bunch of uh information pertaining to what this is actually about but also before i go this is not only about um receiving a greater voice within with uh, the mouth of God, understanding um, greater intuition, more um, gifts related to that. It is the higher um, states of love because now you are connecting the love of one, the love of all, the love of God, and which is the golden chalice, the cup of Christ that is embedded within us and it's of course within our brain um and that means universal knowledge now this also resonates with me because it goes to the message knowledge goes to the message that i was trying to um decode a couple of days ago that i I placed as best as I could in yesterday's video, um, and today is uh, September the 13th. Um, for your information, in case you need to go back to yesterday's video. Um, so, the, basically, the previous message was upgrading in knowledge, which takes a lot more um, activations. It's no longer your knowledge. It's no longer your brain. It's no longer you acting on things. It's you acting on divine will, on divine love. 
in finally stepping into a purpose. Now, I'm not saying we're done here. We're never done growing. We're never done ascending we're, until it's time for us to leave. But we're so close to receiving our higher self. And I know from myself by what I saw last night um, or what I receive intuitively about my own personal growth and, re and understanding or receiving um, internal dialogue. And I felt comfortable with it that I am really close. It's so important to stop placing stress upon the end result. When? Because if you're thinking about the end result, you're not learning and you're not in the now moments. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.